Our research efforts did not reveal any evidence to dispute the Benjamin E. Mays Consolidated School was the first public school in our nation named after Dr. Benjamin E. Mays. School officials in Spartanburg County are staking a claim to a piece of history that ties their school to a civil rights leader. A lot of us would know this as the middle school of Pakalit, right? But it was originally named for Benjamin E. Mays Consolidated School. And 7 News reporter Stephanie Borman was there when board members for District 3 shared the honor with alumni. She's live in the studio with the details. Stephanie? District 3 leaders say they want, to rec they want the recognition of being the first to use the name and name a school after Dr. Mays back in 1953. Tonight, school leaders filed a resolution with the state asking for the formal credit. And I had the honor of introducing them. The year Benjamin E. Mays Consolidated School was dedicated, Willie Wittenberg was tasked with introducing the Baptist minister and civil rights leader to his classmates. It was kind of scary a little bit, but... It was an honor to do it. Douglas Brackett remembers Dr. Mays visiting the school on the first day of May every year. Every year, and that was considered Mays Day. I can still visualize him in his cutaway coat and being so eloquent. You know, I can still see that, and it gives you something to strive for in life. Historians credit Mays for laying the foundation for the civil rights movement. He worked with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and several U.S. presidents before becoming president of Morehouse College for nearly three decades. Welcome all our guests and our alumni. At Thursday's board meeting before dozens of alumni, school leaders made a historic announcement. The Benjamin E. Mays Consolidated School was the first public school in our nation named after Dr. Benjamin E. Mays. Board members presented a proclamation asking the state to recognize the historic honor. It was accepted by Reverend Roger Smith, one of the first people to receive a full scholarship to Morehouse College. Reverend Smith says it'll be a reminder for years to come of Mays' great legacy, both for our nation and in the halls of the school. Dr. Mays had that impact, not only on me, but on many students, to encourage you to reach greatness, to achieve greatness, to reach for the stars. So the school unveiled a new section on its website that details the history of the Benjamin E. Mays Consolidated School. We'll have a link on our website at WSBA.com. Back to you. Thank you, Stephanie. Very neat. School leaders say the Benjamin E. Mays Consolidated School opened in 1953, serving African-American students from 1st through 12th grade. It closed its doors in 1970.